Hi everyone, thanks for joining me today here on my channel. Today, what we're going to do is learn all about inequalities. Now, if you don't know what that means, that's okay, because all I want you to do is look right over here at my friend. This is Jack the Duck. And there's one important thing you have to know about Jack the Duck, and that is that Jack always wants to eat more fish. He always wants to eat more fish. He's very hungry. Let me show you an example. There's two ponds. There's this pond with this many fish, and this pond with this many fish. Look at this pond right over here to our left. This pond has one, two, three, four, five fish. The pond to our right has one, two, three fish. So guess what? Jack is going to want to go to the pond that has more fish because he always wants more fish. Five is more than three, so Jack is going to open his mouth and he's going to go to this pond. Let's take a look at another one. Over here, this pond has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fish. This pond has one, two, three, four, five. A pond with eight fish and a pond with five fish. Guess what? Jack always wants more fish. So he's going to take his mouth and he's going to open it to this pond and he's going to eat those eight fish. Let's show you another example. Okay, look at this pond. This pond has one, two fish. This pond has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight fish. So guess what? Jack isn't going to open his mouth and eat these two fish when he can have all of these eight fish over here. So he's going to take his mouth, he's going to open it this way, and he's going to go to this pond because Jack always wants to eat more fish. Did you notice the shape of Jack's mouth? It kind of looks like this. Let me show you. It kind of looks just like that. I can even draw his beak. See how his beak kind of looks like that, and there's the face. I'm not the best drawer, but I'll try to uh, draw a picture of Jack. But look at this mouth. His mouth makes a shape that's like this. And here's the secret. The secret is that Jack's mouth is actually, the shape of his mouth is actually a symbol. Depending on what side he turns his mouth to, it means different things. So look at this. We have nine and we have four. Nine fish are over here. Four fish are over here. Now you might have noticed that the ponds have disappeared. All we have are the numbers. We don't have the pictures anymore. But that's okay because we always know that Jack wants to eat more fish. So Jack is going to take his mouth. He is going to open it wide this way. And he is going to eat the fish in this pond because nine is bigger than four. So let me show you this. Same thing. We have two fish in this pond. We have 11 fish in this pond. Which is Jack going to want to eat? Is he going to want to eat this ponded with two fish when he can have 11 in this one over here? No. He is going to want to turn his body and he is going to want to eat fish on this side. So here's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to take Jack and I'm going to have to flip him this way. So guess what? Let me just move him a little. So now Jack's mouth is faced the right way because 2 is smaller than 11. So he always wants to eat more fish. So I had mentioned how Jack's mouth is a symbol. So I want to show you what those symbols mean. Okay, here is what greater than means. When you have a symbol that looks like this, this means greater than. Remember, this is Jack's mouth. We always open it to the bigger number. So here's an example. Four and two. What one is bigger? Oh, we open Jack's mouth to the bigger side. This is four is greater than two. Less than is just the opposite. Less than looks like this. Let me show you an example. Two and seven. Which one of these is bigger? Seven is bigger. We open Jack's mouth to the, the number that's bigger. Two is less than seven. And equal to looks like this. Two is equal 
to 2. Let's do a couple other problems. Okay, 1 and 4. 1 and 4. Remember, Jack always wants to eat more fish. So while I'm not going to take the time to draw Jack, I am going to draw his mouth. What one would Jack want? Would he want to go in the pond with one fish or a pond with four? He would want to go in a pond with four, so I'm going to make the mouth open to this side. Look at this. Two and five. Where would Jack want to eat? Would he want to eat in a pond with only two fish? Or would he want to eat in a pond with five fish? He would want to eat in a pond with five fish. So here's how I read this. Two is smaller than five, or two is less than five. Here's another one. 7 and 8. 7 and 8. Well, I know that 8 is bigger than 7, so I'm going to make Jack's mouth right over here. 7 is smaller than 8. And 6 and 6. 6 and 6, this is where we do that one strange symbol. It's not really a mouth, but it's just this. 6 is equal to 6. Now, even though we don't have Jack here, we still know that when we see this, the sign right here, it's just a symbol for his mouth. Look, I can still draw him. Draw his face, just like that. But you know, when we're solving problems, we don't have time to draw uh, an entire duck. So let's go to the next one. Here's the last one. Seven and six. Seven and six. Which number is bigger? Remember, Jack always wants to eat more fish. So Jack would open his mouth, and he would open it to the side. And the last one, 9 and 11, 9 and 11, think of the mouth, which one should it open to? Should it open to 9 or 11? What number is bigger, 9 or 11? 11 is bigger. So we would open it to this side. 9 is bigger than 11. So we are just about out of time. But here's what I want you to do. I want you to try two different problems. 3. And seven. What sign is going to go in here? Ten and two. What sign is going to go in here? And six. And six. What sign is going to go in here? Well, I hope that you learned a little bit about inequalities. Keep practicing, and we will see you next time.